Now, what was it going? Well, pulling it all out. Pulling it all out. Maybe that's you have to do more work for that, though. Yeah, come on, they got more. Get the all. <laughs> Definitely starting. Um, then what do you have to do? By means of reasoning. Ah, show now. D elistai, D erastai. Now you have to apply to this reasoning. Mm -hmm. right. Yeah, it's not interesting. Okay. And what do you have to do? You have to be able to say, yes, yes. Right? These are the parts that are... Do you notice how much time we spent on what kinds of balls we were using and where she put them? No. We all have to pick what? Function. What was significant. Yeah. Right? So some things pass background and we're pulling out the significance. You have to be able to then see the significance. Then what do you do? Come on. By means of reasoning to discern about them all, wherein they are significant, and for whom they portend evil and for or whom? good. Go ahead. Yeah, and for whom they portend evil or good in the future, the past, or the present. Oh, so we had to step out of the dream and, and remind him that he was in the dream. For him, yeah. Right? Yes. Hmm. How important was that in the dream work? Critical. 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 Ah, ah. So we have, we have to uh, find out what's significant and for whom they portend. Right, and he looks and he said, oh, I think I see what's good in that and what's bad and that's enough. Oh, go ahead, go ahead. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. <clears throat> and it should have some implications on the future, the present, and the past. Yeah, there's a really nice T in there. For yeah. whom they portend yes, what? For whom? Yeah. No, what, though? Yeah. Like, what's the. Yeah. What's the meaning? Yeah. But you don't want someone who to play this game if they are uh, mad in a frenzy. Yeah. What's the conclusion? What kind of dude do you need? Oh, yeah. Um, a prophet. Now, before you get there. Oh. But it is not the task of him who has been in a state of frenzy and still continues therein to judge the apparitions and voices seen Keep or going. uttered by himself. For it was well said of old that to do and to know one's own and oneself belongs only to him who knows his sound, own sound mind. mind. Right, 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 right. <coughs> That's why uh, we have the penny savers and they always have dream analysis by those who are sound mind. And, right? Pages. Mm -hmm. It's interesting, he puts the to know oneself yeah. and the things of oneself. Yeah, right, oh, right that's there. even greater, isn't it? Yes, that's so well done. Right, given all the self business? <laughs> oh, of course, but what do you see? Well, it's also reminiscent of uh, the first Alcibiades, right? The distinction between knowing yourself and the things that belong to you. Yes, right? yes, so good it's, point. It's like yeah. putting the first Alcibiades right here mm -hmm. in that major discussion in there. In one sentence. Yeah. It's beautiful. 
Pythagorean. <clears throat> Okay, keep going. Come on. There's a, a distinction between groups of people now. Wherefore, wherefore, also it is customary to set the tribe of prophets to pass judgment upon these inspired divinations. Right. But there are what kind of people? And they indeed themselves are named diviners by certain who are wholly ignorant of the truth that they are not diviners but interpreters of the mysterious voice. They're really not diviners, they're interpreters. Don't want interpreters. Go ahead, yeah, I keep going, you're doing good. It's, I mean, it's such a nice distinction though, isn't it? Right? Isn't it? Because who were these guys back then? We can say they're not diviners. You hey, can go to yeah, the house of the diviners to get this kind of right, work done, right? right? And we don't have the transcripts, right? Like, and every physician in those days would not treat anyone suffering any accident or sickness before they analyzed their dreams. Hmm. So, dream cult. That was a dream culture. That's a, I mean, that's what we do now. Hmm. <laughs> they don't even have time to talk to. Yeah. Yeah. They oh, no. just have enough time to give you some dope. Or they, they don't talk, they just listen and then you oh. give them some money and walk away. Yeah. They, yeah. I've seen that. I have a problem about our diviners here. Please. Uh, these diviners aren't anything different from what we described up above. People of sound mind who can pull out all that's significant for the person and put them in a place where they can recollect it and see its significance for the past, present, and the future. Or, or there's two different groups of people. There are two different groups, and that's what we want to see. Well, Since they use the idea of tribes in two ways. And that's what we're on. Good. And we need your help. You were supposed to give me the answer. There's a third group. So <laughs> I, I, I got the question. Out. I just teach reading. Okay. Did you see it? Why don't... Well, I was just saying there's a third group. The, stu the, the ignorant people who give the name diviners. To... See, watch. Uh, who's got Thomas? Me. I do. Thomas Teller? Yeah, want to read it? The same passage? Mm -hmm. I thought it was. Obviously, you got to figure it out, bro. And on this account, the law me. orders. Okay, louder, please. I think you're here. Right there. And Do the whole thing. Do the whole thing from where it belongs to a man. Um, but here, so at E, but that divinity assigned divination to human madness may be sufficiently inferred from hence. From there? And that no one, while endued with intellect, becomes connected with a divine and true prophecy. But this alone takes place either when the power of prudence is fettered by sleep or suffers some mutation through disease or a certain enthusiastic energy. It being this case, it being in this case, the employment of prudence to understand what is asserted, either sleeping or waking, a prophetic and enthusiastic nature. And so to distinguish all the fantastic appearances as to be able to explain <clears throat> what and to whom anything of future, past, or present good is portended but it is by no means the office of that which abides and is still about to abide in this enthusiastic energy to judge of itself either concerning the appearances or vociferations. Hence, it is well said by the ancients that to transact and to know his own concerns in himself is alone the province of a prudent man. 
And on this account, the law orders that the race of prophets should preside over judges, over divine predictions, who are indeed called by some diviners. But this in consequence of being ignorant that such men are interpreters of and methodical visions and predictions. And on this account should not be called diviners, but rather prophets of divination. Well, there's some key terms in there that make it significant, don't they? Prophets so, of divination. It's easy to decide this. We vote. <laughs> Within, however many groups of people are, there's a clear distinction between being in a frenzy. That's and, clear. And being able to do this kind of That's dream clear. work. No. That's also clear that he objects to interpreters. But to what group does it, do they belong? Look. Uh, this is one of these passages where <clears throat> uh, it would be nice to see it clearly. <laughs> right? <laughs> and the translators are not helping us. <laughs> or it's there and we're not seeing it. But Thomas Taylor, with all his brilliance, is adding the great principle of providence, providence. And if it's there and to ignore it would be too bad. You can look at both the left and the right, can't you, on their sheets? Would be worth comparing them with an eye and seeing what the Greek is doing. Right? Pranoia, take a look. Well, but we're still back to the same question. What's the question? How is he using the idea of triad? He's using it twice. I'm sorry, how is he using the idea of? Tribe. Tribe. Yeah. Yeah. You would say so far? Oh, I yeah, you have to look at it fresh. Good, that's what we need. Well, you could interchange it with class. It's the word genos. Yeah. To genos of prophets. The class of prophets. The whole class of prophets. Yeah. Who are they? Uh, he says it is customary to set them to pass judgment upon these inspired divinations. So far, it looks positive. That's the problem. Go ahead. And they indeed themselves are named diviners. That looks still positive. Um, but look, by certain who are wholly ignorant of the truth. Uh oh. <laughs> that they are not diviners, mm. but interpreters. Mm. Therefore, he, the so far, what is he calling them? Oh, that's right. That's that hypocritai, yeah. interpreters of the mysterious voice and apparition, for whom the most fitting name would be prophets of things divine. No, no, go back. Okay. They're not diviners, damn it. They are not. Therefore, they, that tribe is a spurious tribe that appears noble and good, but are not. Well, that's what the issue we're dealing with. Well, I'm not sure. To what? There's a phrase there. Would you agree? Read it again. Sure. Wherefore, also it is customary to set the tribe of prophets to pass judgment. See, so it's the phrase, and they indeed themselves are named diviners by certain who are wholly ignorant of the truth that they are not diviners, but interpreters. Right. And that sentence starts with, and they indeed themselves. 
What's the antecedent? And they themselves, right? They must must be reflected back on the past. The antecedent is the tribe of prophets. Yeah, yeah. See, that's what's peculiar about this, because uh, uh, that's a criticism of what's customarily done. And in Thomas Taylor, it's a law. So the, he's acting against custom. Yeah, I'm not sure. Well, it depends upon just how that, that expression, how, where you put that expression. My decision is easy. Vote on it. So come, you have good skills in this game. Come on, how do you decide this? Right, the, the getting back to likeness, there's the, the supreme principle That's right. of becoming of the cosmos, and becoming is the word genesis. And then here we've got this class that's right. The genos of right. prophets, which Good. means they become. That's right. Right, so they're part of that, their whole uh, the see, likeness it, of the It prophets. depends upon whether or not the likeness they're producing is real or a fiction and a fantasy. I think they're judging likenesses, though, right? I mean, isn't that their role? Okay. Who are we talking We're about? We're still talking about how, what's the antecedent to the day. And how do, and whether or not the, what continues to describe that are called ignorant or not. So the question is, to whom is he addressing <coughs> this, this judgment that they're ignorant? Do you know, do you know what they're... That's fair. He's a good reader. I'm getting another question. So, okay. Um, so, I, I'm, and I'm holding on to the question I have. So That's all right. That's good. You asked for some help. <laughs> yeah. And so, go ahead and bring me up to speed. Yeah. Let's we'll take them both. So. He may help them. He may help at this point with an additional point. Maybe we can put them together. Who are the ignorance? No. Nah, and maybe your point is second. Yeah. Mm -hmm. um, my point is that um, these are. Um, most rightly named prophetai of man in name and all yeah. of things that spoken divinely. Mm -hmm. So, since they're not divine, okay. they're only people who can talk about yeah. things that are divine. Yeah. Which yeah. puts them in the level of the hupokrites, which are which puts them in the level of the person who is a Sound mind, yeah. I think. Oh. See, that's where I'm going to. Other parts of, who are able to draw out and set to ponder and and cause to um, uh, see the significance. Yeah, well, that's, that's one way of going. I know. That's one way. Hey, hey I'll take no, no, it. No, no. Hey, it's, you'll do it. Well, it's critical this critide business, right? Because he uses the word judges earlier to pass judgment, to pass kritos, and then when he, the word for interpreters uses the same root, hupo kritai. Yeah. Right? So these are not, these are not dopes, these are not crazy people. They're not raving, but they judge of things in a raving nature. Therefore, they're hypocrites. Well. <laughs> I'm playing on words, go ahead. No, it's, Just it's, keep it's, going. It's, Therefore, you would conclude Irrational. They're, they're rational judges. Rational. Yeah. Yeah. And, and also, he's, it appears he thinks that when we're dreaming, there's something raving yeah. about that. So in the same sentence, he has a contrast between these two groups, is the way you're reading it. Which two? 
those who are ignorant and those that are seeing well. Now the question is, can you go back and read it to see if that's there? Well, there's three groups, right? Sir. Sure. There's three groups. Louder? There's three groups, aren't there? Yes. Go there's ahead. the ones that are having the vision, who yes. are giving birth to the words. There's yes. those that are interpreting it. And then there's those that name those other people diviners. They name the interpreters the diviners. He calls them ignorant. This is the way I would. Yeah, okay. Uh, then the use of the word interpreters is a positive and okay. not a negative. Four groups. Yeah. 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 By the way, he does describe this curious group um, that are ignorant of the truth, but are not diviners, but interpreters. Is that there? He's doing it. He's saying it. Is that what you're doing? That's there. You're saying that the people who aren't clear are, no. Would you repeat that? Because that's important, because that's uh -huh. a new point that I've not seen before. Mm -hmm. okay. That the people who name these people diviners, not only are they ignorant of certain things, they're the hypocrites? No. But the, the, then the question is, how is he using the idea of interpreters? Yeah. So I have to look at the book again, and I brought the wrong book. So I'm well, gonna... interpreters is a bad translation. In my computer, I can't make connection with visions and dreams, so I can't use my... I can't make, make Wi-Fi connections. So I have to figure out what's wrong with it. It's bad, bad transition. So I mean, look, this is it. another example that we can criticize the author. Really? Oh, yeah, we do. Yeah. We got the people down to yeah. the What's his name? Pluto? Pluto, Pluto. Yes, I believe. Right? Hang out in their cold. Yeah, maybe we can settle it. This is where he should have been clear and wasn't it. Oh. I like that. Divinities. That's the interpreters. Well, the phrase that's curious same. is those who are not... Those are the same group, I'm just saying. What, by okay. certain who are fully ignorant no, I'm looking of the at truth, the those are the ones that were accepting what they're naming. So if they're ignorant of the truth, then what's the truth about these people? And which group are they? Well, it says here. No. It is customary to set the tribe of prophets to pass judgment upon the inspired divinations, and they indeed themselves are made diviners by certain who are wholly ignorant of the truth. Then, then they call them not diviners but interpreters. So these people are misnaming it. Pardon me. That's not a question, is it? Yeah. Yes. No, it's a conclusion. <laughs> okay. Yeah. Okay, I'll conclude that. Yeah. 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 Okay. See, what's fun is. If, however we decide it, on what principle in the text are we using to go for the one rather than the other conclusion? Well, that's all. Does he take pains to be precise? No. Yeah. Right? If he's oh, taking yeah. pains to be precise, then yeah. we have to be clear about what he means, yeah. the categories he establishes. Yeah. <clears throat> Precision, then, I'd say is a principle. <laughs> <clears throat> and um, would you agree? Um, 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 and by the way, I'd like, Pierre, mm -hmm. I'd just like to know uh, if this guy, if these prophets of things divine are outside of mania, then, they, then we can't classify them in any of the four types of madness in the Phaedrus? That's not really a question, it's an observation. Is that, is he allowed to do that? Is Plato allowed to do that? Come on. It's, that's Come on. a contradiction, isn't it? Okay. <clears throat> What? Same question. What's up? I just think it's a kind of a continuous flow. 
that puts the people up here as the, 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 the people down here, prophets of things divine. He's calling yeah, midwives like prophets. Yeah, I think he's calling midwives. He's calling midwives prophets of things divine. Dialecticians. And that's where I'm stuck. And he doesn't seem to be wanting to go there. Because he wants to deal with well, the people. You, you, haven't, you haven't even raised it yet. You could great idea. You're keeping it on one on one. Well, I'm, I'm kind of afraid that he knows more than me. Back to the same oh, place. What is that like? License. Yeah, I'm trying to figure it out. Then we know what it's like. <laughs> What's that? What's it like? You only know that once you understand the difference between the two. Then you can decide whether there's one group or two or three. <laughs> I still need that. Uh, the people, let me ask you a question. Are there indeed people named diviners and people who are ignorant, right? Of the truth? Yeah. Mm -hmm. right. okay. Someone is calling a group of people diviners. by certain who are wholly ignorant of the truth. Just, just go that far. Well then, uh, some who are called diviners. What about these people? Well, the point you made, I thought, was that they're called diviners by people who are wholly ignorant of the truth. No, That's they're the ignorant. Made, right? So they're not... Right, so that... They're not hey, diviners. This some are... And uh, see, here's where the issue is, that they are not diviners, but interpreters, right? And we have to fit that, mm -hmm. right? See. are saying they're not diviners. So over here we have the diviners. And these guys are saying something about these people. And it looks like uh, they're calling them guys are interpreters. Right? 
they're interpreters of the mysterious voice because over here is the dreamer. Right, they're interpreters of the mysterious voice. And it sure is mysterious. Right? See, uh, so there could be a third group here. So just see how the, line, the next phrase goes. And while they, these guys are calling them interpreters, they're ignorant of the truth of things. And they don't know something. The fitting name would be not interpreters. I mean, if that's true, we have a great, good quote of what Plato thinks of interpreters. What is the PFD, the, something of div divination? The problem of divination? The well, the fitting name, the fitting name of the these of people oh, would be oh. prophets of the divine. Now, this is one way to sketch it, by the way. I'll do several. But well, the reason I'm doing this is you have to use, however you, go use another sheet, however you do it, you have to be precise with every word. And let the meaning come up, please. Uh, this me, this fact, uh, the word interpreter here is not the word that, that we see, for example, in the Ion, where they talk about go, the poets, the role of the poets, and um, it, it, that's, a, that's a word, like a hermeneutics word, right? And that's commonly translated. Hermeneutics. That's translated. Sure. Okay, but this, being that it's kupokrites, and krites means to make a distinction, right? It means to, uh, so it is not interpreting, see, I don't know what the Kupo does. So uh, no, 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 that's why, look yeah. here. That's, that's a key part of this. Yeah, you know and that is, reason. what is the proper word for that? Well, right. You're absolutely right. So, so you would, come on. No, so it's, it's for me, it allows the possibility that these are people who can make distinctions as opposed to people who are adding a level of uh, content that is not in the dream, right? Depends on how you take interpretation, but I think we often take it as a negative thing to interpret is to add a layer that is not That's right. to something. That's right. So I wonder if, and so is one of the questions we're considering how the man who is in his right mind that recollects and ponders, how he fits into this process, right? Mm -hmm. That's one of the mm -hmm. things we're considering because he has to... What group is he in? Yeah. So, right, it's because he has to, he has to be of, of his right mind and he has to recollect, remember. So those are his dreams, right? And ponder. The things spoken in dream or waking vision by the divine nature which suggests 
either that's his own nature and that's rare, or it's a common nature, but mm -hmm. that we don't access all the time. Several possibilities, right? So in all the visionary forms that we're seeing, and by means of reasoning, to discern about them all where they are significant for whom. So to my mind, and that's the point you make with Bradley's dream and with Bradley, that you have to see what is significant about the dreams. It's not every part. So that's a pretext, right? That's a distinction. Yeah. And that's where they would use that term. And therefore, so, so I'm wondering, I haven't concluded where it fits, but I, I guess I'm adding, as you said, a possibility that the people who are hypocrites um, are in fact people making distinctions such as the ones above. But they or not. it could equally be that making the distinctions for the other group that are ignorant. Yes, so how can we decide that? Yes, yes. Yeah, no, that's, that's, see, uh, because yeah, you're absolutely right. And, and it's important to, to it's important to say, uh, look here, let me try it another way. So, is it possible that someone could come along and say, uh, um, hey, you know, I was at a group Friday night and uh, some guy did a dream work. But I'll tell you what, uh, okay, he's going, to be, he's going to be part of this group. Be part of the it, in this passage, is it likely there are critics of what is going on? If so, what, what, what kind of comment might someone say about what we did tonight? Who would want it to put it down? They would say, oh, it's just interpreting the grain. So, yeah, so yeah, he's like a fortune teller. Right, he's a, what you're doing is quackery. Making it up as you go. See, this is contemporary. We have to put it in what's going on now and see whether his language matches it. We're doing it. So let's say my friend Harry Drovidovich McGee, who is known by everyone, as a scoffer of all divine things. <laughs> Harry. And he comes in and he says, I got news for you. It's a bunch of bullshit. It's a bunch of bullshit. <laughs> <laughs> right? Being simple and direct. I say you can't, can't conclude what you just said. This is just another stupid dream. It's left over from the, probably a bad dinner he had. And uh, this is what happens when you let the mind float around at night uninhibited by reason and reflection. They can't put anything in. real in this. Okay, look here. He's totally ignorant of the truth. Like it's going on now, right? Come on. Sure. So how do we make sense of someone who's, getting, who's making a statement about it? And we're puzzling about how the sentence fits. And you're quite right to say that we have to be careful about this word because we, we deride people who are interpreters. Barbara's quite right. But if he's using it in that negative way, that's astonishing. And if not, not, of course. Yeah. Um. And I was wondering, could this go back to the challenge that Socrates is putting to Timaeus that to put the Republic into motion? Like, is, would this be a, a possible answer? Because he's using words like, like for example, when he talks about, um, can I see that real quick? Uh, recollecting and pondering. The word that's translated as pondering is uh, soon no wayside. Oh. Right, so and then you got amna, anamnestenta, right, recollection and using noesis, right, which is in the divided line, right, and you, I was just, I've been putting this thought together for a couple of weeks now, but you talk about how the, the states of mind and the divided line are, 
incommensurable with one another. Mm -hmm. So there isn't like a kind of activity and flow between them. It's like between the two groups. Yeah. That's so absolutely. And in other words, there's a kind of staticness to the line. And that seems to be reflected in, in Socrates' desire to hear the Republic put into motion, like shown oh. in action. You know, my usual solution is, why don't we just put in our own understanding in between the lines, which is why you should use a text where there's well, enough space between them. Well, yeah. well, Timaeus is, yeah. Yeah. Timaeus is giving this grand speech, right? And so he's supposed to be paying out Socrates. Yeah, it's pretty grand. Socrates' goal for him, Yeah, right? but this, see, this is likely to be a part that it fails. But why would that be? <laughs> because everyone makes a mistake in whatever they do, and this is likely to be a mistake. Well, yeah. Or, or... <laughs> see, I, I, I want to make this apology, which is... I went to a family gathering, which is always a mistake. All right, go and, and drank two beers, which I never do, which is, oh, oh. results in my being a bit fogged over, I think I'd say. So, um, <laughs> but I, I, and so and I know you guys have been talking about various groups and, in play here, but would you agree that the very first part of the paragraph that was read, that it says that, it, in a way, that every one of us has this divining part, right? So that, that is not a, a separate class, that some are diviners and some are not, mm -hmm. right? Because in our dreams, we're going to mm -hmm. have, okay? Mm -hmm. That was one thing. But this, what did you do with the part about frenzy? Because that sounds like the people who are called, called diviners, like the one who sets on the Omphale, the yeah. navel of the blah, yeah. blah, blah. Yeah. And in the, with the smoke, and gives visions. Did that was that connection made? Mm -hmm. So you have then that all of us have a divining part, but you have then there's this group that give forth with certain um, statements and thank you. It's very you appreciate it. Spurious, think well. Are they all spurious? Mm -hmm. But at least that those things, it is not the task of him who's been in a frenzy and still continues to judge those, right? And that probably oh, should be so. I guess I'm still working on the question of whether there are people who are, which I think we all are, who are the people making the distinctions, right, that are sound distinctions, and therefore looking at significant parts of the dreams that who are not, right? So, hmm. right, let me let it go for a second. I want to I look at what those terms are. So, I just wondered whether. See, because crinane, crinane is used at 72A6, A5, and crinane is the verb from that becomes critase, right? Same verb. And then you have to judge, right, um, the apparitions and voices. So that is the person who is, who is judging them, who is not in a frenzy, is also making those critical judgments, right? I take it. You see the term I'm talking about? It's uh, right at the beginning of the line, 72A5. And that's, um, that for me, thin top is the, is the sounds, and fine top is the apparitions. Right, so, but so the, the, so the person who could judge is the person that was described in the earlier discussion among us which is to do and to know one's own and oneself who wants to give the sound of mind, right? Who is, what is it? It's so foremost. So, hmm. And that's, and, and of course that's judgment too, right? Ah, good puzzle, that's all I'm saying. Kritos is the one you were connecting to Hupo Kritis, right? Interesting. Barbara, I think I read it more in your way now. Thank you. Just to say to put it in the context of the entire paragraph, he's talking about the function of the liver. And yeah. above, yeah, it is, above, yeah, yeah, yeah. Yeah, above yours, right? And we all have livers. And he's saying that the organ of divination was put into us. So we are the ones that have the dreams and could enter into sickness or frenzy or by inspiration. But then we can come out of that. Mm -hmm. 
the, the I like the idea of rectify because that's what we've been working on is rectifying the revolutions. And oh. that's the same term only it's with kata, right? Kata, kata or thuntos or thuntes. That's rectification. That's one of the oh, revolutions okay. of the heavens. And where are you reading that? Uh, in this fourth line, rectify the vile part of us. It's not. You see it? Oh, uh, thank you, thank you. Sure. Mm. I will, uh, yeah, and that's, uh, you know, um, yeah, good see, catch on the crinane, by the way. Yeah, go ahead. <laughs> well, I have a problem with nomos, the law. Me too. Oh, there you go. The law that establishes a group of people to play a role. Mm -hmm. And I'm wondering if this whole bottom section of the page, if you're all in the same book, is about the implications of that law, which sets a group of people in charge of, um, I forget what it was. Um, yeah. Of, but, but of this a, kind of analysis. this kind of thinking, this kind yeah. of experience. Yeah. But there's nothing in what these people do mm -hmm. that, in any way, either hypocriting or whatever else, what he describes a person of sound mind doing mm -hmm. in the interpretation of these visions and dreams. Right. And so. Mm -hmm. It seems like there's a law established to, uh, to establish a priesthood. But the, the priesthood has nothing to do with the method of dream work. Yeah. That would be why in this translation, uh, nicely enough, uh, he says customary. Yeah, he's a uh, law, nomos. No. I, that's the word, the customary. No. No. It's customary to do that. Let's talk about what we customarily do. And, no. uh, and at the very end, he tags it. And depending on how you do the antecedent, it's either these are prophets of things divine, the people up there who are in a problem, or they're the people who are the hupocrites. That's right. And if, he's, if, he's, if you read it at, that the hupocrites are the uh, prophets of things divine, you have one interpretation, whereas if things divine are really things that come out of dreams and mm -hmm. enthusiastic states of mind, something like that, that, um, would, be that would be another group. Uh, another group. Right, 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 right. So there's another reading. Right. There's another blank page for you. Oh, that's right. terrible. It's like all relative. Then, this, yeah. And he's calling, <laughs> they're both, and he's using the same term for both. Try, try. Yeah but in different ways. Yeah. So that's, I don't know. I'm I sorry, were you pulling apart, you were pulling apart these tribe of prophets from, I'm saying that everything from the from, people that are in their right mind? Everything from customary on is a description of a priest class, which has been misnamed and, mm -hmm. and doesn't function uh, and is, are actually hypocrites. That's right. And with, given the name prophets of things divine, yeah. Foolishly. Foolishly, by yeah. the people who probably were the ones who set them in charge of themselves in the first place, the ignorant. Yeah. Um, so that's, so well, the, we have to be careful. it's a punctuation problem. Yeah. Well, Where what do side stop? do you take? Yeah. I'm, so, I'm okay, beginning to take, uh, if with, one, with <laughs> the exception of one line, I'm, I'm, I'm thinking that, that there is an establishment of a priest class outside of midwifery and that they assume the name of what midwives would do by saying that they're prophets of things divine, mm -hmm. whereas midwives, which is what I'm calling what he's doing up there, <coughs> people who deal with dreams and visions, uh, are people purely of sound mind. Whatever position you take, it's going to put you in one of those classes most likely, right? No, nothing to do with So you with want to be careful, right? Nothing to do with the priests <coughs> or the hypocrites, which are misnamed as priests. Isn't that what's going on? He's saying that people misname yeah. these hypocrites as, as diviners. As diviners, not priests. Right. Yeah. And through their interpretations of these voices, they are given the name prophets of divinations. But it's by hypocrite. I didn't read that. Well, that's the last one. Um, 
And um, see the test now. Okay, so I'm no, done. I made my point. No, see, the test now is if we can read it with that idea in mind, and everything follows with it then at least we have an understanding that matches the language. There may be other ways of understanding it, but that would have to pass the same test. Mm -hmm. And if that's the case, then uh, some of the puzzles we had here, um, and they indeed themselves, that expression, must go back to the uh, spurious group. Okay, but Hupokritai is a good name. He accepts it. That's my position. Well, but it has to fit. Well, whatever we come to. No, 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 okay. But the, the, the word he's translating as interpreters, I'm saying he's, he's affirming that one. No, so the ignorant people don't know that it's this one. Yeah, they're the people that don't know. Yet they play along. And I would just argue that, that the word hupo goes along with the case that I would make for that is because uh, he uses a riddling language, enigma, like where we get the word enigma. So he's saying, hey, there's something about this divine things that's enigmatic, mysterious. You need someone to get underneath the images. So they're, <coughs> offering, they're offering also a good way of looking at this term. They're also offering a use of the word customary. Well, that's a bad translation. All right. That's all we need. Now you go through and let's see whether it fits. That's all. Then that's one possible way of going. We'll use the same test for anything else that anyone offers. So let's read it. Go ahead, pick it up from that. And whenever you're stuck with understanding, we'll call on David and say, is this right? What words do we need? Come on. So say, just start with the law establishes rather than it's customary. The law establishes. Nomos, kathis, gis, deny. The law establishes. Okay, let me, let me, just, look here. Why is this important? Okay, so let's go to the top of that paragraph. Right, it's the condition of our nature that he's dealing with. And that God gave unto man's foolishness the gift of divination. Come on, keep going with it. See? Load it up. Go ahead. <clears throat> uh, the gift of divination. A sufficient token is that, and that God gave unto man's foolishness the gift of divination. A sufficient token is this. No man achieves true and inspired divination when in his rational mind but only when the power of his intelligence is fettered in sleep or when it is distraught by disease 
or by reason of some divine inspiration. Okay? That's why you need dreams, for inspired divine visitations. Sure. Go ahead. Sure. But it belongs to a man when in his right mind to recollect and ponder both the things spoken in dream or waking vision by the divining and inspired nature and all the visionary forms that were seen and by means of reasoning to discern about them all wherein they are significant and for whom they portend evil or good in the future, the past or the present. Hey, dreams do not stand alone like waking visions. They need to be understood, right? That takes a certain kind of person to play the game. That's not a prophet. Well, then so far... He's not calling that guy a prophet. No. Even though he has an insight into what portends good and evil in the future, past, and present. Future, past, and present. Yeah, but the dreams are telling him that. Yeah, wait a minute. No, I'm sorry, you're right. Would not someone be called a divine who's able to be able to study some subject and see what, pretend, what portends for good or evil in the present, past, and future? So it's a question. Might the use of the word diviner be on the background? I think so. So we keep going. Yeah. Okay. Go ahead. I'll take that. Go ahead. Come on. But it is not the task of him who has been in a state of frenzy and still continues therein to judge the apparitions and voices seen or uttered by himself. For it was well said of old that to do and to know one's own and oneself belongs only to him who is sound of mind. Right, right there, the two groups. Right? Mm -hmm. Two groups. Okay, clarity, one, the people who have visions and the other people who are sound of mind. Oh. Okay. Or two states of the same person? Hopefully. <laughs> <laughs> Go ahead. Oh, okay. Um, wherefore also it, it, law establishes the tribe of prophets to pass judgment upon these inspired divinations. And these ones... To pass judgment, crinane. Right? <clears throat> right, agree? And these ones, no, 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 they... No. Go ahead. Uh, to pass judgment, kritos. And they indeed themselves are named diviners by certain who are wholly ignorant of the truth that they are not diviners right what group is he talking about <laughs> the, uh, no. the ignorant two groups no. No. And, and the people who pass judgment so far. Oh. No. and the people who pass judgment yes that's two kinds of judgments you think a different groups could be created I think a different group. When you say, and it's a job of somebody to pass judgment on these things, that doesn't sound like the job of trying to find the significance for that person in the past, present, and future. It sounds like a different guy. Well, it's a paper. Well, the, the test of that is whether the next sentence follows it. Is the next sentence, and they, is, is he talking about which of the two groups you just identified? That's all. What would you say? Go ahead. I think they're the same guy. Yeah, go ahead. They indeed themselves are named diviners. See, it, what, the beginning of the sentence says wherefore. So that means he's connecting with what he's about to say with what he just said. Go ahead. Hopefully, yeah. Right? And the, so what he just said was about the guy who knows his self and his own things and he's uh, in a sound mind. Okay. Then he says, wherefore, also it is customary, or law establishes the tribe of prophets to pass judgment upon these inspired divinations. So how do you understand the hothen there? Uh, that one guy is doing one thing and the other guy is doing another thing. That's right. That's, it's a judgment call now. 
well, I think or an opportunity if, for sophistry. If you have a divine uh, vision in your dream, and somebody comes up and says, "Oh, I'm going to say that's divine or not, or whatever else the judge does," that's different from saying, "What does this portend for yourself? How do you understand it?" Are those uh, judgments? Uh, though? How, do you, how, how can we recollect and ponder it? Hmm. I just think they're doing. They're two different groups of people. Two different groups. That's what he said. Do you agree with that? <laughs> Who cares? I don't. I'm, I'm not. I don't have to agree. All right, all right. But see if it's see if it's in there. Keep going. See, you shifted, by the way, at that moment. But go ahead. How did I shift? I mean, are we going to? No, please forget my trivial remark. Go ahead. <laughs> I'm just wondering, you know, is there any truth to any of our judgments? Um, wherefore, also, it is customary to set the tribe of prophets to pass judgment upon these inspired divinations. And they, indeed, themselves are named diviners by certain who are wholly ignorant of the truth, that they are not diviners, but interpreters of the mysterious voice. Therefore? See, not diviners, but interpreters no. of the mysterious voice. And that must refer to what he just described. What do you mean just described? Which just described? And that, that tribe. Okay. No. That's I'll that tell tribe. you what. Let's vote. Good time to quit. <laughs> it is a good time. Right? I won't sleep on it. So look here. Sleep upon it. We can come back and do it again. Well, thank you. Right. I will. Okay. Thanks, guys. Well, thank you. Well, I have more to do.